So, there's a well-known saying that great minds think alike. So do fools. Fools think alike too. What is the definition of a mass? That every special little flower that thinks alike under the condition of numerous presence is having the same cognitive behavioral inclination towards doing something. Am I a member of the mass? Yes. In certain fashion I behave in a similar manner under certain conditions. Now the problem is when majority of people cannot break through the cognitive conditioning to reach for something greater to pitch to more valuable things. Then you may define them as a mob. What I would like to utter is despite reading a flood of someone's feces on the social networks, on the web, and the forefront of their minds, of the, what their minds are capable of conjuring, creating, is for example in the comment section, is for example in the political debates that they engage in. The words that they issue come from their minds. And if you have a more apt mind, you can quickly discern that you are dealing with fools and idiots. The worst kind of scourge of earth. Now, if you have any mind of your own and any value of your own that you cherish much, you must do your own business. Metaphysics helps a lot in that. Because amongst these waves of masses, when you recognize by intelligences, by the spirits of philosophers, mistresses of the times past, that gives you hope. If a muse inspired you to something great, to a great thought, that is a reward enough. So, even if the last whimpering child on earth would be consumed in a catastrophe, it would be consoled, completely consoled, to lift it up to fill the thrones of God. That's why there is never a lost case. Even amongst masses of fools, waves of fools, you must do your own business if you recognize your value, if you recognize that you may inspire, change even little, minute things in this world, you must commit to it. You must do it. Otherwise, you're just an inept, passive person that will receive all the aggression or the stupidity or the foolishness of the mass but will not be capable of moving against it, along it, to pitch towards the divine, to pitch towards the great ideas, even philosophically speaking, to the great ideas of the ancients, means to do your own business. And even if you cannot spread the information and convey it in such a manner to the great swathes of people, even if you make little videos, whatever, doesn't matter what is the coverage. There is something called high magic. That is, you walk through the fabric of minds, souls and hearts as a catalyst on behalf of the gods. Even if this is an empty sport, as some would like to proclaim it, naive reductionist, materialist. If you see the effect, you know it works. And in such a way you gain more influence and power by being a mediator between the gods, yourself, and earth, inhabited by human beings. So it is very worthy to pursue both the fundamental grassroots things and work on a greater scale through high magic. Leave no stone untouched. Develop and express yourself. Find what kind of influences, inspirations you may harness and convey it forth. Thank you.